So we are here just to ask who is the thief or who are those thieves who stole the money of the people. That is what we want today. And after we have found out who is that thief, there is enough police officers to arrest that thief. So that thief can go and sit in prison so they wait for their day in court to understand each other. The second reason why we are here, we are here for our money. We are not here for many other things. Now we've made it clear that we are not going to leave this place until one, we receive a satisfactory answer, or two, we receive our money. So you have two options. And think very well now before you lie to us, because you are used to lying to people, but you will not lie to the people's general. Do you understand each other? So think very carefully what you are going to say now, what you are going to tell us. There is enough cameras here to hear what you are saying. Responding to the group's claims, the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare Executive Director Martha Mbombo clarified that there were plans to roll out the project in the Comas region, but WFP decided to divert the funds to another region. We want to, the community to understand this. It is not the Ministry's decision. We did not make such a decision to cancel, uh, to cancel the funding, but the donor themselves, and World Food Program. So um, we just want to appeal to the community not to be, not to be uh, um, confused by other groups that want to take uh, advantage of the situation. And also um, I have seen that uh, uh, the leaders of those groups are making uh, uh, unfounded allegation in the in the social media actually defamatory defamatory uh, statement in the social media which is unfounded nobody has embezzled money in this process i can testify that the ministry does not have the money